Hello, I'm Chris Egan, owner and founder of the Egan Realty Group with a special report update regarding the Louisville, Kentucky real estate market and the effects of COVID-19. It is currently the evening of Friday, March 27, 2020. The state of Kentucky is just past 10 days into the start of lockdown when the, on the evening of Monday, March 16th, the evening before St. Patrick's Day, Kentucky governor announced that all restaurants and bars would be closed to interior dining and all schools and child care facilities were to close statewide. Now, of course, our first concern here at the Egan Realty Group is that you keep yourself, your loved ones and friends healthy and safe. And the best way we suggest you do that is by visiting louisvilleky.gov and clicking on the yellow what you need to know about COVID-19 banner at the top of the page. Here you will find the latest updates and statistics as to best practices, as well as a link to the Kentucky COVID-19 website, where you'll find the latest statistics and best practices to keep yourself healthy. If you have friends, family, and loved ones across the country in different states, you'll also want to visit cdc.gov on a regular basis to keep updated as to the latest best practices and statistics for each area and state. Of course, our second concern is that you keep updated as to the effects of COVID-19 on the Louisville, Kentucky real estate market. So here's what's happened in the last 10 days. On the evening of Tuesday, March 24th, the governor of Kentucky signed an executive order closing all non-life sustaining and non-essential businesses to the public. Now, real estate was classified in businesses related to the exchange of real estate was classified as essential and life sustaining and thus real estate businesses are allowed to stay open, but they must make appropriate provisions to allow for safe social distancing. According to the Greater Louisville MLS, the marketplace for Louisville, Kentucky's residential real estate, in Jefferson County, Kentucky, there was actually an increase of 434 home and condo listings to hit the market. And under contract, 419 home and condo listings to go under newly accepted contract pending close during the time period between March 16th and March 26, 2020. We would tell you that this is a good sign that real estate showed resilience in the face of the pandemic. Secondly, according to Greater Louisville MLS, the area that we refer to as Central Louisville East, also distinctive or historic Louisville, which is the area from and including Old Louisville, east and southeast out to the Waterston Expressway, encompassing Audubon Park, the Highlands, Germantown, Shelby Park, Clifton, Crescent Hill, St. Matthews, this overall area, Central Louisville East, within the same time period, March 16th to March 26, 2020, there were 81 new home and condo listings and 76 home and condo listings that went under newly accepted contract. We believe that both of those are good signs that the real estate market remained robust or at least steady in both categories in Central Louisville and Greater Louisville. Of course, we will continue to monitor that effect as the virus continues to peak over the next few weeks, if not months. Furthermore, for all of you that are still intent on selling, we feel that best practices should be shared with you and that yes, it is affecting, this will affect in a certain negative way, the seller's market. However, there is limited inventory. And based on those statistics, there are still sellers entering the marketplace because of course, regardless of circumstances, they have a need to sell and move along. So that's important to know. Also, if you're thinking about selling, keep an eye on interest rates because that's driving the buyer demand. And it seems if market forces will keep interest rates, which should have an effect, not necessarily a direct effect on mortgage rates, but there will be downward pressure on mortgage rates to stimulate the economy. That's a good sign not only for buyers, but sellers as those buyers are able to afford more, hopefully protecting prices. Though we do expect some pushback on prices. Next, for sellers also that are locked down, it's a good time to prepare if you're not quite ready to come on the market by cleaning both inside and out. Obviously, cleaning is a best uh, practice, a best protection against contracting COVID-19, but this will help you improve the condition of the property while you're sheltering in place, spending more time at home. Cleaning inside and out is a massive value add as you're preparing to sell, including tr trash out or removal of items that won't be staying with the sale, if you are the do-it-yourself type, now's the time to work on deferred maintenance projects. Or if you feel safe and in a safe way, you can invite contractors over to price out major items that you don't plan on addressing yourself. 
It's good to have those items priced out in advance for your future negotiations so you're not just guessing when it comes to some pushback during a home inspection. Now if you're a buyer, to a certain extent it will be a buyer's market. There will be have to sell sellers because of all the negative circumstances so you'll see more inventory come on the market where you'll have highly motivated sellers. And of course, I'll repeat, for the buy side, there are historically low interest rates for you to take advantage of. Those historically low interest rates will allow your purchasing power to absolutely go north, allowing you to buy more house for what was the equivalent of the same monthly payment at a higher interest rate. So it's a good time to consider this. I know it might be a tough time to consider making a move for fear of contracting the disease, but at least the number one buyer tip we would give you is Get prepared mathematically. Meet with a mortgage broker or lender, even if it's virtually online or on the phone. Put all your math in place. Because it's important to understand where you're at today, how the change in the economy may or may not affect you in the days ahead, and just to know your math with some level of flexibility so you can take advantage of the buying opportunity if you're in a position to do so. And of course, it's important to stay in touch with your realtor, to stay up to date on what is actually selling. So over the next several months, as closings happen, as inventory gets absorbed, as new inventory comes on the market, those are all market factors that will affect your choices and what your money will buy in the marketplace. Now again, I'll repeat, our number one concern at the Egan Realty Group is to keep everybody updated so everybody stays healthy and safe. And to cut through all the noise there, we would recommend that you regularly visit louisvilleky.gov and click on the What You Need to Know About COVID-19 banner. There you'll have live statistics that are updated. Also, at the end of every day, at 5 p.m., you can tune in to the Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir's daily web broadcast and update for Kentucky at facebook.com backslash Andy Bashir. That's facebook.com backslash A-N-D-Y B-E-S-H-E-A-R. Use his broadcast and the website at louisvilleky.gov, what you need to know about COVID-19, as your primary resources so you don't get caught up in the rumor and innuendo and you keep yourself safe. Of course, we'll be back with our regular Louisville, Kentucky market update in the first couple of weeks of the second quarter to, so you can see what effect COVID-19 has had overall in the first quarter of uh, 2020 is real estate market, and we'll keep you updated, okay? Thanks for being here, and we take this very seriously. If you have any specific questions related to your property or would like any specific insight to your scenario, please don't hesitate to reach out via direct message to our social platform or call us directly at 502-634-8001. Thanks for watching.